Hey, orange one here. So we are at Huss and Folk, and we're going to see if we can get in here before that big old army gets to us. I'm a little bit worried that we're not going to be able to do it, but we may be able to pull some sort of maneuver to get inside the city. I, we might have to, like, abandon troops or something. I don't know. We'll see. I I really don't like how after you take a city, I, you've got troops inside the city walls. Why you, you spawn outside is... It's very frustrating. Yeah, let's just say that, you know, and then the AI, they can catch you. Um, and I've been sieging this place down for a while now. Probably should have attacked it a little bit earlier. You know. But it's one of those things that you don't know until you're there. Um, and now we've got this city that's got busted up walls and a big old army outside of it. It's just waiting for us. Are those busted up arrows, like, falling? Is that what I was seeing? What was that? Yeah, I'm gonna like dismount and see if we can get a view on on an archer. I don't see any. At least we got these people here. I think that it's just kind of a matter of time. And we do have siege equipment firing. It looks like still. That's kind of interesting. Do we have a ram that's coming or? I don't see any rams. That's weird. Okay, well, we're in the walls. Maybe they just didn't even use the ram because we had such an advantage. Well, here they are. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't actually get in for the fight. I want to show you this, though, because we're taking um, Asari land from the Asari, which I thought would be kind of interesting. We could also maybe make peace with them. We could also be like, hey, yo, like, no war. That might be better than us, like, losing troops. And then we can uh, turn on the Kuzate and start taking land from them. We're right by them. It wouldn't really slow me down or anything. I've forgotten how long I've been at war with the Sari. Did I... Was I previously at war with the Sari in the last episode, or is this new? No, I think that we were at war with them before. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's even worth me trying to chase down the enemies because by the time I get there, they're all gonna be dead. You know, gotta save save the strength of these fingers for the uh, the actual battle. Oh look, I could actually maybe shoot one. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't have an opportunity to get a kill on that battle. Okay, let's see if I can get inside. Sure, take them all. And. I will upgrade, just in case there's any opportunities for us to get people on horseback. I think it's worth looking. Oh look! Look at this! Yes! This will make us faster if we have less prisoners and we've got a couple more horsemen. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Um, let's loot that. I'm pretty sure that we'll be fine. Oh, I have to vote on something? Yeah, you can have it, Olek. Whatever. Just make sure it's paused when we exile this. Okay, can I get inside the city, please? I can. Oh, sweet. Nice. Okay. Um, any recruits? No. And, of course, there's no one there. I'm going to get to the, here and ransom some prisoners, though, because I'm pretty sure that I've got some prisoners that I can't recruit. Yeah, like these guys right here. You know, I might as well not have them slowing me down. Have my thought. And let's see, are they gonna besiege me? No, they're not. Okay, cool. Then we should be good for now. Um, let's see what's going on. They're creating armies. Okay. Um, and I think we'll just kind of wait. I'm just gonna let him do his thing, honestly. Oh, look at how much influence I have. You know, I could. Uh, I could go and um, take a fief from a lord. It's very, 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 very um, pricey, but I could do it. Um, is there any single lord? Um, what do you like me? Are we like homies? I mean, I could, yeah. 
Oh, give give it to someone else. Oh, I bet we have to vote on it then, huh? Hmm. And yeah, we could take this from the city, uh, from the lord that we just uh, had join our, our faction. That'd be kind of messed up. I'm like, oh, hey, join. And then we're, we're just like leaving. Okay, yeah, here we go. I was waiting really for this. Uh, Gymnastica, like Aaron. Okay, you all have cities. Yorig and Faron. I don't know what nationality Yorig is. But Faron, I know, is not Kuzate or Asari, I'm pretty sure. I think he's like uh, Imperial. So I'm pretty sure that we'll, he'll be the most loyal to us. Not 100% sure on that, though. Um, I'm pretty sure, though, with this city taken, uh, we might have the advantage over the Asari in terms of kingdom strength. Oh, we're at war with both of them? Uh, I mean, people would not be too happy about us going and being peaceful, I and mean, we are more powerful than both, is the thing. Um, and it really would serve us best to take out the Kuzate, but they're so strong. I didn't realize that we were still at war with the Kuzate. I thought we were only at war with one of them. Maybe I can make peace with um, the Asari. I don't know. Uh, does this have defenders? No, it does not. Let's uh, go in there. Yeah, people should donate troops. Uh, is there anyone to recruit? No. Okay. They've got 12 defenders now. <laughs> Can I talk to you? Just want to talk, man. No, I think that we, we actually do want to hang around the city because there's all these lords. They're just going to try and, and siege it down if we don't. Um, you know what? Uh, I think I might let some lords go. Just kind of let them on their way. Just to kind of lower the upkeep um, for the army. And then I think they might also harass people a little bit, which would help our, our people get some patrols out. Uh, like our, or not patrols, like our villagers get supplies in. It kind of boosts the economy. That's at least what I'm telling myself. I don't know if I'm playing 4D chess or if that makes any difference at all in anything. Um, could I do like a little chase on that dude? See if I can get him. Yeah, challenge him. <laughs> okay. Oh man. I kind of feel bad about this. Though I didn't get any kills in the first battle, so I just want to do this really quick. Kill them all! Honestly, people could just charge in and they'll probably be fine. And we have like enough uh, cavalry to straight up just take them out. Horsemen, on my Mountain, follow me! But maybe we shouldn't just... Yeah, I think it's wasteful. Just charge all of our cavalry in like that. We'll, we'll take out these dudes. We'll definitely take these dudes out. Okay. So you wanna fight, we can fight. Yep. Those horsemen are so dead. Yep, he's down. So is his buddy. Cool. And we'll just kinda loop around with the cab. You know how we do. Yeah, it should be pretty quick, honestly, given their numbers. I do want to make sure I don't get one shot though. That would not be good. Yep. Come at me, bro. Maybe I should not be just focusing on that cab. Oh my gosh, they're getting demolished. Kind of awesome.
Yep. That's uh, that's pretty uh, well. Total complete victory, you know. These guys just got completely destroyed. Oh my gosh! Not any thanks to me. Yeah, you gotta know how to kind of angle, though. Like, I think that I, I have a really good sense of the horse archery in this game. So I'm just playing way too long of uh, Bannerlord, because it's essentially the same. Like, you know, like with the aiming, you can kind of see where your character's aim is, and then you can just kind of turn them like that. And that really helps you just kind of get underneath and around people's shields. Because you, you turn quick on horses, especially uh, if you uh, quickly slow down. Like, I've always found that people try and go as fast as possible with horses, and it's like, dude, you're playing it wrong. Like, the one of the best parts about Cav is it's their turn speed. Not just their, their speed, but like, if you are in a horse-on-horse -horse fight, you want torn, turn speed. It's like the same thing as a, a dog fight with, like, a fighter pilots. It's like, dude, you want something that can turn in quick. <laughs> okay, more troops... And I, as I was going to assume... Oh, actually, there's some mercenaries. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here a little bit more. Just making sure people are able to do their, their trade here safely. Oh, speaking of which, we should probably unload some weapons and armor. And, and this place actually is an Asari city, so they're probably very wealthy. No? Maybe not. I'll take it all. Thank you. Actually, you know, I think I might need food. I'm not sure how much food we have. So let's just do that really quick. Eh, actually, oh, geez. I have a lot of clay. I'm just going to dump the clay and a lot of these other goods just because I don't want to carry them. I don't want to have to micromanage it, basically, you know? Um, tell you what, I'll buy some of your grain just because we need some. Food. Oh, um, hold on. I need to get more stuff. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna get all the food even if it's not a good deal. It's good for morale, right? Isn't that how it works? Oh, you don't have any money. You know what? That's fine. Good deal. I mean, look at us, we're, we're a millionaire, like, what do I, what am I doing, like, fighting over prices with people? You know, it's like, it's not worth it. Like, I feel like that way about a lot of things in life. Like, I was actually just, um, randomly, I was at the, here's the situation where it's, it makes a difference. I was at a dentist, and I was like, okay, I have to pay for this dental work, but it was the wrong rate. Like, it was, like, straight up just, they were giving me, like, the, um, the 50-50 split between insurance and, and me for like, which is essentially the thing for like bridges and crowns, you know, for like a filling, which is like at a 20-80%. So that's the 30% difference. So yeah, that adds up if you're getting some expensive work done. You can imagine that 30% difference. That's where I'm like, okay, I'm going to argue with you over this. I'm not going to argue with someone over like 5 or $10. If it's a couple hundred, yeah, you, you can bet I'm going to argue. Um, let's siege that. It's not really what I want to do, though. Because we've got Dynastica, we've got these other places. Um, let's see. I really would like to just talk with someone. Maybe Tamnon Castle will have someone around. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if any of our places are being besieged right now, not currently, as far as I'm aware, at least. Um, I think we're just going to try and make peace with these guys and then go um, attack Kuzate, finish finish them off. I think like we have Indomitable, um, essentially, I don't know what I was going to say. Indomitable what? That sounds cool. Um, no, basically, we're stronger than the, all the other factions at this point. You know? 
Um, so we just need to make sure that... Uh, oh, hello, Sirik. Can I make peace with you, Sirik? Okay. Um, yeah. I think that, yeah, I can do this with him. Hello, Sirik. Talk to me. Talk to me, man. Come on. Um, yep. You should make peace. Yep, that's like nothing. That's seriously nothing. Okay, and now we have peace, and you did not just crush me two to one. That's nice, too. Thank you. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's see. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a problem. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna maybe do a quick load then and see what we can do. Okay, so I had to wait for him to besiege a city. It took a little while, but I should be able to make peace with him through this. And, yeah. Okay, cool. That should be good now, right? Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay, so we're at peace, yay, with them. But Kuze, we're definitely at war with still. So we gotta, we gotta take care of, uh, we gotta take care of those boys. So we'll go up north and take care of them. Um, basically, there was a little bit of time between what you last saw and where we're at now, where I was just kind of, like, trying to find a lord, couldn't really find a good lord, so I just kind of followed Sirk for a little while, and, and he was trying to besiege, like, us in folk or dynastica, he was kind of, like, switching between the two. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you sneaky little so-and-sos. Uh, you think it's uh, pretty clever of you, huh? I bet I could probably just take it back, though, honestly. I bet if I go back to Hustenfold, I can just kind of swoop in myself and take it. Um, well, there's 200-something defenders. Man. I want to go up north and take some more of their land. I'm sure that my, uh, my armies will do, uh, plenty of damage. Uh, while they're doing that, though... Who's nearby? Yeah. You guys come join me. We're gonna we're gonna besiege this place and, and wear them down. Um I'm gonna keep you guys with us. I'll just kinda like talk a little bit, basically, is the game plan. Yeah, I don't know, like I feel like sometimes I'm record when I'm recording these that I'm kind of doing it for my own posterity. Because really like if you look at the views, there's not a lot of people watching these. Um maybe though. I like to think that in the future people will go back and watch some of this, like I'll see kind of what was accomplished in the series and I'll be like, oh, huh, I want to go back and see what how this happened, you know. And yeah, I think that, you know, it's there's a lot of people who've done similar things. Uh oh. Orton Guard is being assaulted. Okay, so they're taking a, a city from us. But I bet you um some of my lords are gonna if they aren't Currently marching armies, they're massing them. And I bet you will we'll take care of them pretty good. Because if you look at our strength here, I think we can take them. I, I really do. But it really is going to take like a joint effort between us and those, sorry. But I think that it's, it's totally doable. And so I've been spending a lot of time on, on YouTube myself watching like all these historical things. Oh look, the walls are still busted. Oh sweet. That's that's funny. I bet that the uh I'm mean, actually probably try and even take it early. Quick. I think we'll get the siege equipment down so that we can actually if there's a hole in the wall, I mean we have like two to one ratio on them. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could rush it. I feel like not rushing it. And also possibly calling more people down to join me. Because I've got a feeling that uh, they're sending people down to try and defend the city. But then again, the more that I leave out and about, the better for other armies. 
Let's just see who's nearby. Yeah, you're 12 hours away, like, why Why would I not have you join up with me? I could totally easily have that person add their strength to ours. You know, the walls don't really seem to be recovering all that quickly. I wonder if that's because of the siege. I feel like that might be due to the siege that we're doing. Um, because the wall is damaged, though, I think I might not wait as long as I usually do. Oh, look! The end is coming! Yeah, disrupt them. Oh, I got it. Then they'll kind of... Well, they won't leave, but... Got some options. Okay, I need to keep an eye on the time. What are you guys doing? I think we need more reinforcements. If we can. Sure. Yeah, I think that there's like someone who's like bleeding troops somewhere. Um, okay, uh, looks like we're fighting. Okay. Biddle, are you in charge of the. Uh... No, you're not. Okay. We'll fight ya. And we have the numbers. And we have pretty good troops. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, also, we got Varchag. I think that that was not while you guys were watching. So we did ha have a little bit of progress. I do think we're making leeway with these guys. So these guys, they decided to attack me. So I'm going to try and get, like, kind of here, I think. Archers! Move! Infantry! Forward! Footmen! Infantry! Footmen! Stay close! Horses! Follow me! And we'll do the classic strategy. You know... You know the one. Look at this though, we got 25 horse archers. We got 25 horse archers. We have as many horse archers as they do. You know? Like. Infantry! And we only got 18 cavalry, so they got a lot more cav. But all things considered, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a pretty nice ratio for us to have, seeing how these guys are goose eight, you know? And we're just like, not. Though I feel like. With um, Genghis Khan, I don't know about all of the Khans, but I feel like they didn't have very many foot soldiers. It was like almost entirely people on horseback, wasn't it? Like, so they could be you know, like all quick, like, and raid. Or like, it, I think they, they did siege cities and then they would get like foot soldiers, you know? But for the most part, they were so successful because they just rolled around just like raiding and hitting you where you're weak. It was essentially guerrilla warfare, but like, done by the powers that be, you know? Okay, I think that was pretty good. Pretty good, uh, carnage for us. Um, though it would be nice if our archers and footmen were not so exposed. Let's just get horses back up here. We can deal with these last few. I think I can pick them off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. There's another one. I'm gonna just turn around though because things are starting to get real, real here. Infantry, if you want to charge, you can. But I can pretty much honor our units. Yep. This is where we gotta make it. Yep. Just everyone. Everyone get in there. I just wanted to get other units in a little bit before our archers. There's a lot of these camel dudes. That must be the mercenary unit, the Benizal or whatever they're called. But they're. They're getting decimated if you look at the, uh, the, the top of the screen. We're doing pretty good compared to them. Oh, that's actually one of my guys. Are you gonna find two? I think you are. Yeah, what the heck, guys? Too much intense carnage for ya? Couldn't, couldn't take it? Bunch of peasants, man. Like, honestly, I think that that is part of the game mechanics, is that the more experienced ones will route. Or more experienced are less likely to route, you know? 
There's 11 of them left. I think this, are, are these? Oh, yeah, you're. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Just waiting for the perfect moment there. Okay, I think. You know, it might make us go a little bit long, but I think I'm gonna try and, um. Have us actually siege down this place so that we have, like, Huss and Bulk under control. Oh, there's a lot of prisoners here. Okay, um. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take all of them. Look at our, our troops, though. Our troops are getting pretty nice. Pretty nice level of experience there. Some more horsemen. Some more horse archers. And an even better horse archer there. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I think that we're getting to the tipping point where we're going to be able to um, recruit horse archers and maintain that army. We do need some other cav, though, to roll with them. Oh, we can take a lot of these guys. Okay, let's take them, and then I'm going to just bleed a couple of the ones that we can't recruit. Is that good? Oh, I need to get rid of 10 more. 10 more, okay. That should be good, right? Yep, okay, cool. Math. That's why you watch this, right? It's for the math. Um, I know it might be silly. I think three can take on that that junk. I might be just wasting my siege equipment completely. We'll see. Okay, well they took out one of them. Let's see, uh, they're about to take out one of my trebuchets. They took out a trebuchet. Oh dang it! So I got two against there too. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that, but we, our numbers are pretty good right now. I should probably just attack. Let's see, let's see if we can get rid of that last thing. Yeah, I think we're okay. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh god. Uh-oh. Maybe we're not okay. I should have been paying attention. We're about to get, uh... A big old fight. Okay, well, tell you what, maybe I'll save here and we'll start the next episode with that big old fight, eh? Okay, yeah. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange.